The third event of the National Professional Fishing League, or the League, is being held this week, starting in two days, on Pickwick Lake. That's what we're going to talk about right now. So if you do me a favor, if you like this kind of content, click the like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and let me just say thank you to all the people who have subscribed over the last couple months, and the views and the comments and everything. It has been overwhelming, and it is humbling, and it is just awesome. So I really do appreciate it, but if you... If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family, because you're family when you're here. And hopefully that is an Olive Garden refer reference. Of course, I sit down and the battery dies. That's how it works. This week, Pickwick Lake is hosting the National Professional Fishing League. And I've done fantasy fishing reviews for bass and done some stuff for Major League Fishing. And it would only be right to do something for the NPFL. This week on Pickwick should be exciting for several different reasons. Fishing is going to be fairly decent, and what NPFL has done to change the start times is really kind of impressive. Now, in other leagues and organizations, they, someone might make this suggestion and say, look, because of the pull of water from the TVA, the, wa the fishing gets better later in the afternoon. Most other organizations would not allow for a change like that, I don't think. But it's refreshing to see that the MPFL is not only willing to listen, but also put their foot down and go, yes, the fishing is going to be better in the afternoon. So we can start at 1030 and then have the first flight come in at 5 and capitalize on when the best water is flowing. Because these lakes up in the TVA are, is it's crucial to be on top of when the pull is not happening or the water is the highest. And this week, the water is going to be slightly high. The weather is going to be fairly decent. I've read it's going to be in the 85, 85-ish area, so it isn't going to be crazy hot. But they'll be fishing the prime time of when the water will be the highest. And that'll allow for anglers to fish docks and fish in scope and fish weed lines and do all of it. Now, the shad spawn happened last month, but they'll still be seeing, anglers will be still targeting those shad to go after big bass. But fishing in the middle of the day and ledge fishing is going to be great. And those anglers that are going to be scoping will probably do real well offshore. But you'll see anglers like John Cox up there with a jig or a shaky head or a worm fishing shallow and probably will do very well. And probably changing the times will drastically help the fishing. It probably was somewhat a logistical nightmare for them. So my, I really say congratulations to NPFL for doing something like this. There'll be a few anglers that you're going to know that are probably going to do fairly well. Patrick Walters should probably do real well. John Cox is going to be out there that has done well. He's had a fifth place and a seventh place in the last couple few years. You have Zach Burge, who's just on fire fishing and just doing really well. You'll have Buddy Gross, who's been out there a few times and had a 23rd, a 10th, and a 1st. So he's probably in that in the scheme of possibly winning this. You have Jesse Millsaps, who's done really well over there, up there too. And of course, Kyle Welcher. And the person who's going to be the heavily favorite is the two-time winner, Brandon Perkins. He's won both events up there on Pickwick in the two times that the NPFL has been up there. And that was in 2021 and in 2023. So watch for Brandon Perkins, watch for Tim Reams, because Tim has had a fourth place finish and he's also had a second place finish. Patrick Walters is of course going to do well. Kyle Welcher will do well. Bassmaster Elite Rookie, uh, Angler of the Year, excuse me, not Rookie of the Year, Angler of the Year last year. And then John Cox has had a lot of great tournaments up on Pickwick. This should be a really fun tournament to watch. And while they don't have uh, fantasy fishing with MPFL, this will be uh, a good old a down to earth, both ways fishing, scoping and also shore bank beating. They'll have three guys on the first day of fishing that will have cameras on their boats or GoPros. And then of course, on the second two days, they'll have their live coverage and their live coverage is from 12 to five during the day. So if you wanna watch it, go to their website and then go to fix tv and it's spelled p h y x dot tv and you can watch all the npfl stuff there including my boy cousin ken's podcast so you have to tell me do videos like this help get the word out so that you'll watch the league on the fix tv that's what i want to know in the comments below so take a kid fishing 
get your fish on. Thank you for hitting that like and subscribe button. I'm truly humbled and I really appreciate you. Talk to you soon. Cheers.